Hi, I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. Let's say uh, that you have a digital logic circuit that you'd like to simplify. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you need to figure out exactly what it does. And uh, I have a circuit here, and we're going to take a look at what it does. So there's two ways that you can go about it. The first way is to do the Boolean algebra. And so we can calculate at each point what it does. So here is a, b, bar. And at this point, we have c or d bar. And at this point, we have a, b, bar, c bar, or uh, a, b, bar, bar, uh, c which this just becomes A, B, C. And then um, we need to end it again. So we have A, B, bar, C bar, or A, B, C, ended with C or D bar. This is continued on down to the bottom line. And so this is kind of a confusing thing and then you have to do a lot of simplification on it. I'm going to show you a different way to do this. And the way that, and, and this is the way that I prefer to simplify something because I tend to make fewer mistakes. And this is to create a major truth table for the whole thing. So I'm going to draw this, and then I'll fast forward through it uh, so that you don't have to watch me draw on it so much. Uh, one thing that it helps to do is to label each part. So I'm going to label that one. This is two. This is three. And that's my out. Okay, so now uh, for each point I'm going to go through and I'm going to just create a truth, truth table for it. So this is A NAND B. So if A and B are high, then the output will be low. So that'll be a 0, 0, 0. Whoops, I'm looking at C and D. If A and B are high, then the output will be low. All right, at point two, we have C nor D. So if uh, C and D are low, then the output will be high. All right, looking at point three, uh, now it becomes a little bit more helpful to draw little arrows over here. Point three, we're looking at point one and at C. And it is an exclusive OR, so if the two bits are different, the output will be high, and otherwise it'll be low. So they're different, different, And finally, I'm going to look at the output, which uh, is working off of points 2 and 3. And it's a not and, so if both are high, the output would be low. Okay. That's great, we've got it done, but what do we do now? 
we're looking to simplify this circuit and so we're going to create a Carnot map. Okay, so in this case it'll be easiest for me to uh, draw where the zeros are because I only have three of them and I have one here and one here and one here. Everything else is a one. All right. So what I want to do is I want to figure out where, uh, what the logic function for this is. And I'll come over and do it over here. F equals, I'll start by grabbing those. And what's common to those is C or grab those. And what is common is D or uh, now I could just grab this bit, but I'm going to grab across all of them because that makes it easiest. So let's verify. C, D, A, B. Yep. So this is my simplified uh, logic expression for this. And if I were to turn that into a circuit, I would have A, B, C, D. And I need a AND gate. And then I need a three input OR gate. And that is the simplified version that performs the same function as this one, only it'll do it faster because there's fewer gate delays. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to learn more about digital logic, take a look at my YouTube channel. I'm Jack Buffington for robotbrigade.com.